Hi guys, welcome to Watkins Way. Guess what we're gonna do today? I got a one pound ribeye that I did a little dry aging on. And that uh, the dry aging, what the process is, I put a little salt on both sides of it, put it on this rack, put it in the refrigerator for two days. It brings out the moisture. Then I bring it out of the refrigerator. I let it set out for one hour. And then I just did a little salt and pepper seasoning. We're gonna cook it in a cast iron skillet for two and a half minutes. Then we're gonna transfer it. The whole cast iron skillet and the steak goes into an oven that set at 500 degrees for another two and a half minutes. And it's gonna be a great steak. So stay with us. Our cast iron skillet is smoking hot. I use canola oil. No, it takes the heat and it won't burn. Now, let's just do this. We're gonna put this in here for two and a half minutes. And you wanna lay this down from this end so that you don't burn yourself. So, computer, set your timer for two minutes and 30 seconds. Now, what you wanna do, you don't wanna pick this steak up. You just wanna let it sit there for two and a half minutes, even though you think, well, I might be burning or something. You don't. Don't touch it. Just leave it there. Then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna put it in the oven at 500 degrees for two and a half minutes. Then we're gonna bring it out, set it over here and let it rest for about five minutes and then it's ready to eat. So anyway, got about another minute and a half to go and we'll flip it over. Okay, now we've had this in here for two and a half minutes. We're gonna turn it over and pop it into our oven. Be real careful. How's that look? That looks pretty good, huh? Remember, just two and a half minutes, cast iron skillet, canola oil, high heat. Now, let's take this and put it in the oven. Computer, set the timer for two and a half minutes. Two minutes and 30 seconds, starting now. Okay, so two minutes and 30 seconds, we're gonna take it out, put it over there, let it rest for about five minutes, and we're ready for dinner. It's been in the oven for two and a half minutes at 500 degrees. There's our ribeye, and I'm just gonna set it over here on our cutting board and let it rest, but while it's resting, I'm gonna introduce it to a little bit of butter. You gotta have butter, right? I mean, you know, I think everybody should have butter every day. So we're just gonna move this around, melt that butter on it. All right, it's looking good. Okay, our steak is almost ready. To move over to the plate and I've made us I like salads with my steak so I made a salad uh, just different types of greens and a little cherry tomatoes but I did a video not too long ago where I took salt and fresh rosemary and lemon zest put it in my food processor and this salt is really good it's good on eggs it's good on salads it's you know good on soups but the, it's rosemary and lemon and salt so Let's just add just a little bit of this to our salad. Before I cut my steak open, I got a, I'm working on a bottle of uh, Cabernet 2019. It's pretty good, pretty good Cabernet. So let me take a sip of my wine. Uh, I cook with wine. Sometimes I even put it in the food, but not very often. So anyway, let's take a look at this guy. Here we go, medium rare, perfect steak. So let's move this over. We've got our melted butter on here. So move this over here. And right there. You know what I think I might do? I don't know if I can do this or not, but these juices. Let's just add a little bit of juice to our steak. Nothing like 
a little bit of butter on her steak. So anyway, that's our dry aged ribeye for two days in the refrigerator. Just put it in the refrigerator, put it on a rack, leave it there for two days. A little salt on both sides to bring out the moisture in it. That's our ribeye.